Section of three senators, the Republicans are for the most part against the president's stimulus package. And many Republicans are saying they are doing the right thing, that it is a win. I want to let you hear something now. This is uh, John McCain uh, this weekend talking about uh, President Obama. Let's listen to that. It was a bad beginning because it wasn't what we promised the American people. What President Obama promised the American people that we would sit down together. Look, I appreciate the fact that the president came over, talked to Republicans. That's not how you negotiate a result. You sit down together in a room with competing proposals. Almost all of the, our proposals went down on a party line vote. All right, that's John McCain over the weekend. I want to introduce you now to Congresswoman uh, uh, Marsha Blackburn. She's a Republican from Tennessee. Congresswoman, thanks so much for being with us. Good to be with you. Thank you. Do you agree with John McCain? He's essentially saying he's off to a bad start, this president. Well, it would have been nice had Republicans been included in the negotiations, but the Democrat-led House and Senate, neither chamber, really involved Republicans in the negotiations. And so uh, from that standpoint, yes, you know, being involved in the process, producing a bill that was truly a stimulus bill and not a spending bill would have been a positive step. You call it a spending bill and not a stimulus, but yet the American people seem to be differing with you. I'm going to take you through a couple of polls here, sure. and I'm going to ask you if you think you're your party is swimming upstream on this. Let's start with okay. CNN. Uh, CNN has it at 54% in favor that the American people think the stimulus uh, plan will work. Let's go to Gallup. They're at 59%. Pew has it at 51%. And CBS has it at 51%. Question, are you swimming upstream? I don't think we're swimming upstream at all on this because what has concerned the American people is the fact that there is so much long-term spending in this. They're very concerned about what they see as the deficit for this year growing and what is happening with our accrued debt, our national debt. And, you know, Rick, the interesting thing on this is the American people will tell you, look, we want something done right now. We want some action. So, therefore, they wanted to see a bill passed. The more they learn about the long-term spending in this bill, they're asking questions and they're very concerned about that, as are we. And I understand that, and I think most Americans understand that, but I have to ask you a question about this. J just, just to be fair, let me take you through some of the things that happened during the Bush administration. Uh, Mr. Bush was handed a surplus of $127 billion. He left the United States, of which you and I are citizens, with a deficit of $455 billion. Mr. Clinton left him with a $5 trillion debt. Mr. Bush took it to $10 trillion. Where was Marsha Blackburn when that was going on? Well, I'm one of those that felt like the Bush administration spent too much money. And But let's back up and look at these numbers. You mentioned the $5 trillion debt, and right. then it went to $10.7 trillion Doubled as of January 3rd. No, but listen to this, Rick. When you go back and look at January 2007, when the Democrats took control of both houses of Congress, the accrued def debt, the national debt, was at 8 point three trillion dollars hmm. now in the two years that the democrats had control they moved that the, to ten point seven when you look at the debt that we have so far, the deficit we have so far this year, the pre-TARP and TARP has given us a $1.1 trillion deficit. Add to that the $1.2 trillion that we are going to see come from the Plan B, which is the Obama plan. Now, we're already over $2 trillion for the year. We have not done the omnibus, which is going to be another half trillion dollars. But what, and what, you're what, talking what? about the deficit that Bush had of being $400 billion, we're already going to be pushing $3 trillion in deficit, the, which will be added to our debt. The, the, uh, the statement from uh, the president is, you guys put me here. Republicans under a president who was Republican and a House and a Senate that were Republicans uh, gave me this. I inherited it. I'm only having to increase this because of that. And there's a, you know, there's a couple other examples because I've been reading today that I went to your website and you, you itemized a couple of things that you thought were improper spending to which you are probably correct. Let me give you a couple others here. Uh, I'm reading from 2005, nearly $9 billion, $9 billion in Iraqi funds 
unaccounted for, part of reconstruction. Nobody knows where the money went. Apparently, it was given to ghost employees. Here's another one. This is from last October. $1.2 billion to train Iraqi police officers, taxpayer money, unaccounted for. Nobody can find where that went. You know, the yeah. thing Americans want from both parties, Republican, Democrat, it doesn't matter, is I think consistency. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. If, well, if, right. if they were you're... spending too much before, why are we only calling them out now? I've been calling them out <laughs> repeatedly uh, and have been aggressive on uh, calling for oversight and investigation, whether it was through these funds or through different agencies such as the FDA and uh, the Federal Trade Commission, different agencies that we have. But, Rick, the thing is, people do know that the federal government is spending a lot of money and is wasting a lot of money, and I agree with that and that is why i have been fighting waste fraud Bo and abuse since day one in congress both now, parties both parties Bo both, both parties yes and both parties do both parties spend too much and the problem is that right now there yeah. is so much money that is being spent if you thought a four hundred billion dollar deficit was too much with President Bush, and I agree, that was too much. My goodness gracious, a $3 trillion deficit with President Obama and the Democrat-led House and Senate, that is far, far, far Get too it. much. And that's what we have so far this year, Congre this year. Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn, it was an absolute pleasure having this discussion with you. I felt it was like an interesting <laughs> exchange. Let, let, can we do it again? Absolutely. Be happy to talk with you again. Love to Thank have you Thank you so much on. for your interest in the issue. I appreciate it. And the American people's interest in this case and all these folks Absolutely. out here watching us now. Thanks so much. Thank